Welcome to the vlog. Today I'm going to be filming what I eat in a day. So it's 8 a.m. and I'm about to go do a track workout. The workout is three sets of two by 800 at 210 pace. And usually before a run, I run every morning at 9 a.m. and I usually eat something around like 8.30. And it's really important to keep like a really consistent schedule so that all of your training is staying the same and you're getting some consistency. Consistency is a huge part of being a really good runner and it'll just make your life better as well. So every morning I usually have just like a protein bar or a banana to have something in my system. And this morning I'm trying the mint chocolate RX bar. Mark, tell them about our workout. Easton's probably the most fit person I've ever seen. So I died. I was, I was finishing like finishing like 10 seconds behind him every rep, so. <laughs> Hi, girl. Hi, girl. Penny, 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 Penny. Penny. Oh. Hi, camera. Can I Easton's vlog. We are making a what Easton eats in a day. And it's we because it's like kind of a team effort. Definitely. Oh, cooking dog. my meals. Look, there's a dog in our yard. I need about 133 grams of protein to be healthy right now. So this morning I drank a protein shake that had 20 grams. This has 12 grams of pro protein, so I'm at like 32 grams right now. That's pretty good for breakfast. Um, and then I'll probably try to get some more greens in for lunch. Oh, and I always add frozen blueberries to my oatmeal, even if I just do like raw oats, because if I add frozen blueberries in, they like start to melt and you eat them like half frozen and they're delicious. So oatmeal is like a huge staple. I have it for breakfast almost every morning. And if not oatmeal, I'll either have granola or a smoothie for breakfast. And then I'll probably start adding eggs into my diet for breakfast as well. Lisa, let's do your vitamins. Oh. All right, breakfast might be my least favorite meal just because this lady crams vitamins she down is. my throat. Mom, why do you make me take so many vitamins? Because I believe in them. Multivitamins, B so vitamins, I take vitamins. I take a multivitamin, I take B12, uh, just because I don't eat that much meat, and I take turmeric. Turmeric and iron are the only ones that I take voluntarily because turmeric brings down inflammation, and then I need iron as a runner. A lot of runners need iron, so if you haven't gotten yours checked, I would highly recommend that. And then I, I'm also about to start taking fish oil voluntarily. Like five days at a time. Oh, 
a lot of you guys are probably wondering is if I'm eating vegan or not. And the answer to that is no, I stopped being vegan. And the reason I am doing that is because I was not getting nearly enough fats or protein. I think that the healthiest diet, if I were to say, would be plant-based. I think that's the healthiest thing. However, in order to get enough protein and fat, you would literally need like a professional chef. Like I feel like it was just too difficult to get the amount of protein and fat that I, need, I needed, um, seeing that I need at least 130 grams a day. And so right now I'm trying to eat plant-based for the most part, but I do have uh, eggs and chicken and things to bump up protein. Okay, for breakfast we had oatmeal, a banana, and a protein bar. Now the biggest part of my meals for the day is I want to get lots of fruits and veggies, so that's what we're doing for lunch. I'm gonna have a big smoothie that just has like antioxidants with berries, it'll have mangoes, it'll have bananas, um, and then I usually do like almond milk, sometimes dates, and then I'll probably put some spinach and spirulina in there as well. I usually do a smoothie for lunch, it's pretty common for me, and then also a peanut butter and honey sandwich just to get a few extra calories and um, it's good fat and protein as well. So that's what we're doing for lunch. And that's about it. I usually like this meal because it's super light and easy and I usually run around 6 p.m. for the second time. And I'm not doing that today, but it's really nice to have something that's light on your stomach before that second run. All right, you have to put the honey in the- <laughs> I'm trying so hard to not do that. I don't know what all these people are doing where they put peanut butter on both sides. That's so messed up. This is the way you gotta do it. All right, adding on some food because I need more calories, I'm starving. All right, just did some yard work and some homework, and now we're making dinner. I hate online school. Did Madeline, you know? Madeline, tell me you just did me about Costa. For some reason, I just ordered Costa Vida, but I don't have any money. And Ethan's making dinner.
I'm sorry to report to YouTube that I've not been a very good son. I only cook dinner like once every year. Obviously, I made dinner tonight. I don't usually make my own dinner. I'm spoiled. I've got a good mom who usually cooks dinner, but it's usually it's something different. Like it's something different every night. Sometimes it's a salad. Sometimes it's something like this. We usually just try to have like some super healthy dinner, and we try to eat it as a family as much as possible. One other big thing that has been helpful for me is turmeric. I love turmeric. You can really feel a difference. It helps with inflammation. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate you all, and I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I tried to show you exactly what I eat in a day. The only thing I didn't show you is I snacked on trail mix a little bit throughout the day. But other than that, that's pretty much about what I eat, and I did get my 130 grams of protein according to my fitness pal, and I got about 80 grams of fat. And then I got a bunch of carbs and drank a lot of water as well. So it was a good day today. Good luck, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.